What's up guys, today I'm bringing you the top 5 must have Cydia apps and tweaks for your iPhone or iPod Touch running iOS 6.1. Coming in number 1 is actually 2 tweaks, but I'm going to classify them as 1 because they have the same functionality. The first one is called NC Settings, and what NC Settings is, is basically uh, toggles for your notification center. So as you can see right there in the top, it gives me Wi-Fi brightness, orientation lock, uh, volume 3G, vibration and alert tones there's a bunch of different toggles here like flashlight just a lot of different things it fits really good with your notification center it looks really nice it looks like it should be part of iOS it's a great tweak and uh... the next one is SP settings and SP settings is basically it is the same thing but it gives you less options I guess sorry as you can see wow I have a different activation method to go to the left, sorry about that. Uh, but as soon as you install it, it'll automatically let you slide from the top, left to right. I'm sorry, I had one set to the left. It won't do that for your phone. But yeah, just swipe from your status bar and it'll activate it. And what it is, it gives you a couple different toggles, like 3G, brightness, and Wi-Fi data. I actually prefer this more than NC settings because I feel like my notification center kind of lags a bit and it it's a little bit slower and this is actually quite faster and it lets you power off your device respring it gives you a few little different favorite apps you can set into in the settings and uh, you can refresh um, you can also customize the different toggles you want and for that go just go to more and go to let's go down go to drop down no sorry that's something else go to set window toggles I'm sorry and right here you can actually set the toggles you want. I have these, but you can actually turn on Bluetooth, location, SSH, a few different toggles. They, uh, there's also different themes for this. I'll show you maybe one right now. So drop down window theme, and uh, here's black glass. It's all in, depends on what you like. I like having the one I have right now. It's called Folder SBSHD if you want to download that. It should be in Cydia. It's free. There's a bunch of different little themes you want. Overall, this is, these are great tweaks to have. That was NC settings and SP settings. The second app I have is called Activator. And Activator comes when you download SP settings. And uh, Activator basically lets you have different activation methods for uh, just anything you really want. Maybe like if you want to activate an app, if you want to open up uh, Siri just anything like that so I'll go ahead and show you better than I can actually tell you so yeah um... just go to anywhere and uh, I'll just show you one from the status bar just for now or slide and gesture okay slide from top screen left I have it set up as music box right now I'll go ahead and change it to something else I'll make it uh... I'll make it just open up my camera so as you can see I set that activation method. Now, when I slide down from my top left, it'll actually open up my camera app. It's a really great app to have if you like to, if you don't want to just scroll through your apps and find a certain app you want. You can just make it. You could just slide in from somewhere. You can actually just tap the the volume buttons at the same time. There's a bunch of different activation methods you can choose from. It's a great app to have, and uh, that was activated. The third city app I'm going to show you guys is called By SMS. Well, By SMS is basically a better messages app than your regular old stock messages app that comes with your iPhone. Uh, it's it's a really good app, and it'll, I basically use it for the, its quick reply messages. I use it like on a day to day basis. It's really helpful. I don't like having to open up my messages app every single time I get a text. Uh, like if I'm in an app and I I don't want to close out, it'll just let me reply from that screen. I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So um, I'll send a text message to myself. Go ahead and just click right here. And I'll just say anything. Let's go say in just a random ass word. And as you can, I'll just open up an app to show you. There you can see it's sent. And as you can see, it'll open up right now. My phone's kind of slow. I have a lot of tweaks on it. <laughs> As you can see, I got I got the message, and I can go ahead and just reply from right here. Just click on Show, and Reply, and Send. 
Uh, it works with iMessage. It's a really, really good app to have. It's really awesome. I don't like having to just close out of an app every time I get something. And it's a. Uh, it it also lets you customize it. It has different themes for it. Let's say you don't like the regular old look of the messages app. You can actually change it. You could download themes from Cydia. Uh, so yeah, it's a really great app. I love it. I use it every day. So go ahead and if you like this app, go ahead and download it. That was by SMS. The fourth Cydia tweak I'm gonna show you is called OXO. And what OXO is is a different a multitask multitasking app switcher basically. And uh it has a better look to it than the original app switcher. As you can see I'll show you right now. Uh it gives you a little preview of the app you have open. So right here I have Angry Birds, it gives you a little preview of Angry Birds. I'll go ahead and just show you guys a little bit better. As you can see. And to close out of apps all I have to do is slide down and just close out of it. It's a really good app switcher. I love it. I love the look of it. It's way better than the regular old app switcher that comes with your iPhone. Um, to close out of, out of all the apps, go ahead and just hold one application. It'll give you this option. Do you want to remove all apps in the multitasking tray? Go ahead and click yes. And it clears them all. It also gives you this cool, really nice looking uh, music, I guess, player in the bottom. It looks really nice, better than the regular old the regular one and it also gives you a few different toggles like uh, orientation lock music I mean volume uh, I think that was data I'm not sure or location services flashlight vibration and uh, you can actually respring from here so yeah it's a really really good app switcher to have I love it it's way better than the regular one and yeah that was OXO the last week I'm going to show you guys is called Zephyr. And what Zephyr is, it basically gives you a... It has two functionalities. One is it preserves your home button, basically. So let's say you want to open up your uh, app switcher. You don't have to double tap your home button. I hate using my phone, my home button. It's already a little bit out of shape. It doesn't work that well. I don't know what that was. So uh, you can go ahead and just slide up from, slide up from your phone screen. Sorry about that. It's not that good. Uh, see, it just lets you open up your app switcher just from the without having to use your home button. It also lets you switch through applications. Like, it, let's say I have an app open, and I don't want to open up my multi multitasking tray. I can go ahead and just slide through apps. I'll show you that right now as soon as this game loads. It's a r really great tweak to have. Uh, has a lot of functionality. I like to use it quite a lot. Um, as you can see it's loading, sorry, it's not that fast. Maybe I could do it from right here. As you can see it gives me this, this little this little tab. I can just slide from this app and go into a different app I have open. You can you can just slide through as many apps as you want. There's no really no limit. As you can see I have no other app open, but if I did it would just take me to that screen. It has it has a few different settings I'll go ahead and show you right now. Open up settings and scroll down all the way until you find Zephyr. Mm, and there you go, Zephyr is right there. And uh, you can enable it, disable it. You can use Grabber, or you can go ahead and just not use it so you don't have to swipe twice, just once. And also, you could uh, change how many fingers you want. You can change the sensitivities, sensitivity, so it's like a little bit harder to use, I guess. If you don't want to accidentally grab one, I like it set on normal. I think it's fine like that. You could also uh, choose what you want, like the swipe. If you swipe from the bottom up, it'll actually close the application you're in. But you could also set it to open up the app switcher. So if you just hold on, just slide up and hold it there for for a second, it'll open up your app switcher. And as you can see, it's a really good app, really good tweak to have. Sorry about that. You can also change the sensitivity on that one. You can disable in a certain app. Like let's say you want to, there's an app that requires you to drag somehow, and you don't want to accidentally, accidentally use the grabber. You could disable it for that. You could enable it for your notification center. And what I, what this does, is it actually brings down your phone screen instead of bringing down the notification center. I don't know if you saw that. 
it brings down your screen instead of bringing down the notification center. It looks kind of cool. I don't really like it. Maybe if you like it, you can go ahead and turn that on or turn it off if you want. But yeah, Zephyr is a really good tweak to have if you want to preserve your home button maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, so those are my top 10 favorite iOS 6.1 Cydia tweaks and apps for your iPhone or iPod Touch. If you like this video, if it helped you at all, make sure to subscribe for more videos soon. Like this video if you think it was helpful. Just maybe more people can see it. Make sure to comment if you have any questions about anything I said in this video. Or if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'll make sure to read every single comment. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day.